Hi, welcome back to my channel. To help us for our today's lesson, I've invited Ken Kaneki, the main protagonist of the Tokyo Gold series. He was ranked as the top 1 best anime bookworm character in the 30 plus best anime bookworm characters poll survey posted on AnimeUndergroundRanker.com. We're already done with our discussion series regarding the simple aspects of verbs from lesson number 8 to 12. If you fail to watch our videos about it, I put its link in the description box below. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, I present to you the vocabulary words that you will encounter in our discussion. Try to match the words to their correct definition in the left column. I'll give you a moment to think about your answers. Time's up! Here are the correct answers. In literature, fiction means a form of prose, especially short stories and novels that describes imaginary events and people. It's a synonym to the words illusion and untruth. Conflict is a condition in which a person experiences a clash of opposing wishes or needs. It may also mean an incompatibility between two or more opinions, principles, or interests. It's a synonym to the words quarrel and disagreement. Convention means a way in which something is usually done, especially within a particular area or activity. Commentary is an expression of opinions or offerings of explanations about an event or situation. <laughs> and then finally, the word convey means to communicate a message or information. It also means to make an idea, impression, or feeling known or understandable to someone. Now, let's proceed with our discussion. Literary elements, also known as narrative elements or elements of literature, are the parts of a literary text. Literary elements aid in the discussion of and understanding of a work of literature as basic categories of critical analysis. Knowing the literary elements can help you analyze lengthy works of literature. For example, it can help you break down the details of a 100 pages novel into smaller parts of elements. That way, you have manageable units that you can examine and then put back together as a whole. Here are the following elements of literature. 1. Action Character Conflict Dialogue Genre Language Mood Narration Pace Plot Point of view Setting Style Theme and Tone In literature, action is the physical movement of the characters. Character, sometimes known as a fictional character, is a person or other being in a narrative, such as a novel, play, television series, film, or video game. Conflict is the challenge main characters need to solve to achieve their goals. Dialogue in fiction is a verbal exchange between two or more characters. If there is only one character talking aloud, it is a monologue. Genre is any form or type of communication in any mode with socially agreed upon conventions developed over time. Language is defined as a system of communicating ideas and feelings through signs, sounds, gestures, and or marks. In literature, mood is defined as the emotion or feeling that readers get from reading the words on a page. Narration is the use of a written or spoken commentary to convey a story to an audience. In literature, pace or pacing is the speed at which a story is told. Plot is the sequence of events where each affects the next one through the principle of cause and effect. 
point of view is the outlook through which a story is communicated. Setting pertains to the time and place within the narrative, when and where the story happened. Style pertains to the writing style of the author who creates the story. Theme is described as the main idea of a narrative. And finally, in literature, the tone of a literary work expresses the writer's attitude towards or feelings about the subject matter and audience. We'll discuss deeper on each element of literature in our succeeding videos. Remember that knowing the literary elements can help you analyze lengthy works of literature. Take note that the elements of literature are action, character, conflict, dialogue, genre, language, mood, narration, pace, plot, point of view, setting, style, theme, and tone. Now, I want you to have a pen and paper with you for our today's activity. I'll give you a moment to prepare yourself. For our activity, you're going to read each sentence, then choose in the box the word that it describes. I'll give you a minute to do this. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video. Time's up! Here's the answer key for our today's activity. For me to know if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For our today's seat work, you're going to identify the word that is being described in each sentence. I'll give you a minute to do this. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video. Time's up! Let's check your work! Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. All set! I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know the elements of literature. Please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shout out of you in our next video. Speaking of shout out, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shout out to the following people. Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. 
And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!